Hi and welcome back, friends of a Geek Shot Full Gaming Experience. I'm your host, Emmanuel Kahn, and we're going to proceed with our Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, Path of the Damned Difficulty, The Renegades of Punk. Last time we helped Dalton get his loved one back. Unfortunately, in an amulet he had to destroy to free her soul, but... Um, well, the things that you do... This time we're going to help Osric. It's going against uh, one of our pet peeve enemies, the Crucible Knights. They're the mightiest organization in this town, so our first target. So without any further ado, let's go to the first fires. And... to the Crucible Knights and inquire further. Crucible Knights are like the biggest organization and they're pretty... they're comparable to nobility, which is also uh, a problem for our elves. Of course. Who are some kind of, yeah, ex nobility. Hence the name Lord Paul for our bear. It's just that uh, Kelvasa likes to order nobility around instead of otherwise. And our Lord Paul. <laughs> is a witness to that. Oh, there are the, some men on the roof fixing some things. I hope you won't mind. What business brings you to the keep? Uh, uh, well, Good day, stranger. let's see. Aldmar gives you an appraising eye. Judging by the scars on his face, he's lucky to be able to do that much. Every day we get more from the hinterlands pouring into Defiance Bay. It keeps us busy on the watch it does. You look like you were recently arrived yourself. Who are you? Soldier of the Crucible Knights and proud of it. I keep everything running at the keep so that Commander Cliver can focus more on more important matters. Looking for something or just knocking the dirt off your boots? Tell me about the Crucible Knights. We're the defenders of Defiance Bay. We're not exactly a formal knighthood, but don't tell Commander Cliver I said that. He grins. We were the first organized militia to oppose a dare and rule, and today we're the largest force in the city. Our soldiers undergo years of combat training, and our officers are required to have their souls read by that critter out in Dunridge Row. What's this about Dunridge Row? That's the requirement of the Crucible Knights, so the higher-ups know there's nothing messy. Built in our soul's past, Aldmar widens his stance. Keeping the ranks pure is fine by me. I just wish they were more careful in hiring their ciphers. What's wrong with their ciphers? Shifts his weight and glances at the empty halls. They're mostly Orlans. I'm sure they're talented enough, but you c just can't trust them. Hostilities in their nature, and they've learned to hide it over the years. He frowns and crosses his arms. All I'm saying is, they should at least be supervised by other folk. That's reasonable, reasonable enough, isn't it? Uh, we're not going to be bland and just talking by the mouth. We have helped Aeon, that is uh, enough that I will say about that. This guy is uh, some kind of racist, I guess. Sounds fair enough. Exactly, but it seems like you can hardly make a simple statement like that without someone wanting to draw steel over it. What goes on here? This is the headquarters of the Crucible Knights, so it's where we store arms and armor, as well as where many of our soldiers bunk. Commander Cliver's in the back, making plans as usual. We'll find the forge at the west end of the building, along with our mastersmith Dunstan. There's also a shrine to the golem if you're the praying type. Thanks, and that's all. But we're here to find Penhelm. 
And maybe we could go into the archives. Maybe we'll find something there as well. As they're just so straightforward here. This is a record of active patrols and reported crimes in Andra's gift. The letter far outnumber the former. And what's in here? Nothing interesting. And we should well, there's of a pick, there's a way. It's unlock everything and look into it. There's nothing interesting here. Still, an addict of arrest. This addict calls for the arrest of Eon. The recent actions have led to the death of a knight of the Crucible. It requests reporting any information to Justica Aldemar. Aldemar. It is signed Commander Kleiber. Interesting. There's something we can take. Oh, Penhelm's affidavit. Curran, a cipher duly appointed and employed by Dundrid Row, does hereby certify that novitiate A.M. Penhelm has been found to have a soul free of any subversive influences or tainted essence. The scroll is stamped with the seal of Dunrid Row and signed by both Penhelm and Curran. Hmm. Maybe we should go to Dunrid Row. Now that we found the thing that uh, uh, f our potential friend Osric of the Dozens wanted us to find, let's go to Dunrid Row and uh, ask Corrin, with whom we have already talked, if he has done that. That affidavit, or if that's a forgery. Over to Brackenbury and Dunrid Row. Yeah, that's where the pampered asses are in Brackenbury now. So let's go over here. some tea you wouldn't heard if you're going into such a secretly English place like this uh, Dunrid Row. Welcome! Curran's quick hands are busy with a mountain of scrolls before him. Hello again, my mysterious friend. Show him Penhelm's affidavit. Is this affidavit real? It's signed by you. He holds the page but seems to stare through the words as if at something woven in the fabric of the paper. Corrin bears his pointed teeth. I remember Penhelm, a preening peacock of a man, his mouth dry and hands moist when I told him he was a sole descendant of a Nadiran general, one who'd fought against Hadrid's rebellion. He scans the Avidavit. Forgery, and not the first I've seen. He hands it back to you, but I have no time for the knights and their obsessions. Bring this to his commander, Cliver, and show him the seal points to the wax stamped by his forged signature. If he compares it with another, he should be able to spot the difference. Right, farewell. Let's go to the Cliver Man. And maybe we'll get the breastplate back then, or Osric back into the knights. <laughs> Not that he wants it, but... <laughs> yeah, it should, him, should give him enough for... Oh. And who is here? Probably a murderous troop. Mm. Well, well, let's hide and position. Mm. Penhelm's face is white. Just talk to that little cipher, did you? One of my novitiates told me he'd seen someone in the records room. Takes a slow step toward you, extending his hand. Give me the affidavit. I've done nothing to you. His other hand comes to rest next to his sword. Well, on the one hand, it's pre pretty strange to make him responsible for the soul's actions. But on the other hand, he has stolen Osric's armor, so... Hmm. 
Well... Your superiors deserve to know... No, cheer up! You always thought you were someone special! Soon everyone will know you are! <laughs> he draws his sword and spits at your feet. I won't let you ruin me over this. And uh, you should always enable auto-pause when sighting enemies because then you have the chance to um, revise your weapon choice for free. And let's see. Yeah, well, I think that's okay. Move in with her. Move the bear onto Penhelm. As we will do with Adonan. What else will they do? Probably nothing yet. We'll just attack Penhelm with our ranged guys and uh, also with Kevava. I don't know the move here. And now, as we're up for this, let's put some protection up here. Shall what we? is this? Oh. 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 So, we should fear these guys. Can put a marked prey on Penhelm, maybe. Oh, he's already pretty dead. Let's just see what comes out of this. We can put down that novitiate. But we have a, f we have some fine targets for an arcane assault here. Christine is still running in. With these numbers of people, I think I would have some like to have some beetles around here. And we'll attack this novitiate with her. Beetles are fine on their own. As for our priest, she can he can give us an armor of faith. More defense. Lava beyond seek. And there's Kevava, he's probably killed someone already, no? Then let's attack Penhelm and give him the rest with his blinding strike. A priest can now go for a blessing. Our bard will remove the damage reductions and what? 79 damage, was that real? No, probably not. Lava there is an officiate though. Attack this one. Also, mm, ah, let's attack these two. <laughs> this beetle here is moving madly around. <laughs> Yeah, well, this this was Penhelm. Now let's heal up a bit. Uh, 
rather kill someone else. There we go. Uh, get over it. Get over it a bit. Finishing the last novice shots. Yeah, well. Thank you for everything. This is the family breastplate. This old breastplate has its share of battle scars, but it's clearly been well preserved over the years and still bears some of its original shine. The symbol of a flame is emblazoned across its middle. And we've got the breastplate, and I think we should uh, reposition our formation. Should maybe make it broader a bit. I so like symmetrical formations though. Stay close together, have you two in the front as she's a secondary attacker now. And now. yes. Let's go over to the first fires again and maybe we'll get something. Or we can see the baffled face of that Cliver guy. And we have the breastplate though and we'll hold on to it. The affidavit is. yeah. Osric won't need it. He wants the breastplate, that is what he As wants. As you wish. How murderous, though. Alright, he hasn't heard yet. Training room? No. Forge? Probably not. And why is Adonan moving there? Seriously, the waypoints. Most probably a commander is in the war room. So we go to the war room. just don't have the manpower. And I'm not sure if he will try to kill me or something, so <laughs> we'll conclude this session for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, next time we'll give Osric back his breastplate and we'll talk to Commander Cliver and see what it comes from this. See his baffled face. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please come back and uh, Happy gaming to you, this is Immanuel Ken, signing out.